What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So a while back I did a video on quiver killer bikes, five gravel bikes that would also make great road bikes. A lot of people gave positive feedback. Some people said this is the most ridiculous thing ever. What are you talking about? We've all got our opinions. That's fine. I respect it. But there are a lot of people out there nowadays that are wanting to ride gravel, but really don't necessarily want another bike for also doing road rides. So I looked at the comments of that video and a lot of you guys commented like, hey, check out this bike or check out that bike. I think these would also be great options as a quiver killer. So I took your suggestions and I looked at five more gravel bikes that would also make great road bikes, in my opinion. So let's get into it. Bike Radar reviewed the Ribble CGR SL and gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars and called this a versatile superbike that is great on or off road and won't break the bank compared to similar spec competitors. The CGR SL starts at 1,599 euros and if you visit the Ribble site, it's pretty cool because there is actually an option to build your own bike. If you would rather choose from a popular build, you can pick up a complete bike with Shimano 105 and a carbon frame starting at 2,900 192 US dollars and go all the way up to the CGR SL with Shimano GRX DI2 from 3698 US dollars. Personally, I don't love the look of this bike. I think it's kind of a funny looking frame design, uh, but people seem to love it. It's got good reviews and Based on what I saw online from the specs of this bike, it seems like you get a really great build for a really good price. So I think it's a great value bike. The Damani was Bicycle Magazine's 2020 Bike of the Year and for good reason. Technically this bike is classified as a road bike, but I actually know several people who use it as a road and gravel bike. The bike is smooth, fast, and insanely versatile. It can be raced over bone rattling cobblestones, ridden on gravel roads, and pedaled all day on double centuries. Cycling Tips claims this is the best all around bike on the market. The bike uses ISO speed technology to smooth out the rough stuff has clearance for up to 38 C wide tires and has integrated gear storage in the frame so you can ditch the saddle pack. The bike comes as several different build options, starting as an aluminum frame for $1,030, all the way up to the SLR models coming in at $12,250. So in my opinion, this bike is a great option for those roadies who primarily ride road, but they think that they might wanna slap a wider tire on and maybe explore some gravel roads. And I think it's a great do it all option. And the fact that it will take up to a 38 C tire, I typically don't run anything wider than a 38 C tire on my gravel bike. So I think a 38 is perfect for gravel. When someone commented, they said, hey, check out the Pivot Volt. Uh, I think that's a great gravel bike that would also serve you well as a road bike. I was kind of skeptical because Pivot is a longtime mountain bike company, uh, but after looking at this bike, it really does seem like a great do-it-all option. Pivot redesigned this bike using an elastomer sleeve called Isoflex. This is essentially a rubber sleeve that sits between the seat post and frame. This feature helps produce harsh vibrations from the road that would otherwise be transmitted straight up through the saddle. So while this bike is marketed as a gravel bike and has the cool seat post to make this comfortable, how does it perform as a road bike? According to an article written by Matt Phillips of Bicycle Magazine, this is a high performance gravel bike that's ready for racing dirty Kanza and doing just about anything else. Matt also mentioned that even on pavement, this is a bright and quick bike that can comfortably and efficiently chew up the miles. Currently, there are a handful of build options of this bike starting at $5,700. So while I do like the look of that bike, I think it has really clean lines. I like the paint schemes they offer. I, If I'm looking for an all-road bike, I'm gonna probably stay away from the uh, built-in suspensions and whatnot. That seat post, rubber seat post, ISO flex deal or whatever it's called, seems like a cool thing and it seems to work. But for my road bike, I kinda wanna stay away from that stuff. That's just my opinion. The first up combine road bike speed plus go anywhere capabilities to start a whole new category of bikes. The third generation up and upper frames are lighter, nimbler, and more fun than ever. Bicycle Magazine said the open up will change where you ride. A long term review of this gravel cross road bike proves that it really is as versatile as it promises. It feels natural on pavement and somehow still takes to the dirt like it was designed for it. There are actually two versions of this bike, the up and upper, and the differences are weight and color. 
The upper is a tad lighter and available in matte black, while the up is available in green and blue. Both bikes are available in a ready to paint option so you can have it custom painted. If you are interested in purchasing a bike from Open, visit their website and you will see there are complete bikes offered as well as frames, forks, and parts kits. So I just learned about Thesis, which is essentially a newer consumer direct bike company. The brand offers one carbon frame, the OB1. You can get the bike as a complete SRAM axis custom build where you are able to select between five different frame colors, bar tape, and wheels. If you go this route, you can pick one of these bikes up for 4K, which in my opinion is a killer deal. You can also order just a frame for $1,300. The OB1 frame has endurance road geometry, but can be built up to be a road, gravel, cross, or touring bike. Thesis is able to offer solid bikes at a great price because every bike is built to order so they don't have an expensive warehouse with lots of unsold bikes. They operate using a small remote team so they are able to skip the long commutes and cubicles. And they partner directly with the factories behind the industry's leading brands to bring you amazing technology at a revolutionary price. One thing I liked after looking at the site is that you are able to customize your bike by choosing different wheel sets, drivetrains, and gearing, and you can also change the size of your handlebar, stem, crank, or dropper to get a bike that truly fits you like a glove. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, everything I've mentioned here is my opinion. Um, if you have an opinion, which I'm sure a lot of you do, comment below. But I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, and remember, until next time, keep crushing it.